time. But then after being placed in the back of a patrol vehicle, she's on the receiving end of a flurry of punches from Montoya. Police officer caught on camera repeatedly punching a handcuffed pregnant woman in a patrol car. Now, Officer Elizabeth Montoya is off the job, but she is trying to get back in. An officer like Elizabeth Montoya should not be on our police force. She shouldn't be on any police force. There's history of violence towards people in custody. A warning, what you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. <laughs> On a rainy morning in July 2018, body-worn camera footage shows it doesn't take long for things to escalate between Officer Elizabeth Montoya and suspect Kimberly Esparza. Do not kick me! Accused by San Antonio police of illegally possessing prescription drugs. Esparza, at the time six months pregnant, is briefly put on her stomach on the ground. But then after being placed in the back of a patrol vehicle, She's on the receiving end of a flurry of punches from Montoya, including seven to her head. After a barefoot Esparza is put on the ground in a downpour, Montoya claims she reacted after being kicked by the suspect. I was going to punch her in her side because that's what I normally do. Termination paperwork for Montoya would later reveal that Esparza was left on the ground for 26 minutes. It was incredibly, incredibly disturbing. Attorney Carolyn Wintland was contacted by a family member shortly after Esparza was charged with assaulting a public servant and resisting arrest and was appalled by Montoya's actions at the scene. Hey, I punched you in the face a couple times. I'll do it again, too. Just your thoughts on an officer, a person sworn and to protect the public making a comment like that. I think it is a, a travesty. <laughs> No matter what Mrs. Esparza did or didn't do, she does not deserve to be assaulted. She's a human being. She's a tiny human being. At the time, she was a pregnant human being who was handcuffed and defenseless. Although Wintland was able to get both charges tossed out and the drug possession allegation was rejected at the time of her client's booking, Esparza spent 46 days in jail. Montoya was fired in January 2019 for inhumane treatment of a prisoner and for misusing her body camera during this incident. She appealed and is scheduled to go before an arbitrator early next month. Personnel records show a pattern of Montoya having issues interacting with the public. The same week Montoya was fired, she was suspended 10 days for a separate incident that took place just six weeks after the Esparza beating. After encountering people sleeping in a near west side parking lot, Montoya told one of them, quote, pick up all your expletive trash. I don't want to expletive hear it. I'll expletive tase you. Yet another internal SAPD investigation found that in April 2015, Montoya kicked a suspect in his stomach while he was handcuffed and lying on the ground and was observed putting her foot onto the man's neck. After the department proposed suspending Montoya 10 days, then interim police chief Anthony Trevino reduced it to five days. I think that the fact that Officer Montoya ever um, became an officer, I'm not sure why she became an officer. Months after Esparza was arrested, she delivered a healthy baby girl who is now right around three years old. Montoya's union attorney did not respond to a request for an interview for this story. SAPD officials told us Chief William McManus moved swiftly to terminate Montoya after learning of the Esparza allegations. The department criminally investigated Montoya for this incident and the 2015 case and forwarded its findings to the district attorney's office. Montoya was never criminally charged. How many good cops you ever see stop a bad cop from being a bad cop? I've, I've done it many a times. I've done it. You know what I got? You know, you know what I received? Yo, whose side are you on? I'd be like, yo, I'm on the right side. The dude's in cuffs. What you hit me for? What is the problem? He ran from us. What does that mean? He ran from us. We got to tune him up. I said, what training? I didn't get that in the academy. You know, we have a problem that needs to be addressed. And until we start having these conversations, right, until the, the, the rest of the world start having these conversations, we're always going to have this problem when it comes down to police.